Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Only my sickness matters. All right. Wait, what? Mystery Science Theater 3000 just yes. opened up a quick Kickstarter campaign. Joel. I did not hear And, and this is where Matt this. The, the fry meme that goes, take all my money. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait. <laughs> well, come on. Get us uh, rolling. But, we'll talk but, about uh, it. Fucking, I don't know anything about it yet. This well, was not here earlier. Yes, it was, because I posted it like an hour ago. Really? Hours well, ago. I, I was, you know what I was doing? Working. Well, whose <laughs> fault is that? My wife, because I have a bunch of bills, thanks to her, that I have to pay. So, And I want to buy comics, but I never get to. All right, okay, anyway, whatever, fine. Okay. Uh, excuse me, hold on. I hope so, Jesus. Don't edit that out. Don't edit that out, okay. No, edit that out. Well, I'm saying don't record it, but that, I knew that was too late. Too late. So we're no, whatever. Like, fine. What whatever. They call it cough buttons here. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Welcome to Scramble Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm Nikki Powell. I'm Will Runyon Jr. Episode 108. Don't okay. Now let's get back to this that I just heard <laughs> about that I didn't with the Mystery Science Theater 3000 coming back. Yes. Well, it's not come back yet. They've started kicks. Oh come on! This is gonna well, reach yeah. its this is gonna reach its goal in like two days. Come on, we got more important shit to talk about, like the man bun. Come on. No, 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 no. I don't <laughs> care about that. Wait, what? Two about, million dollars is what he death. needs. Did you guys hear about the the big death this week? Yeah, don't I care. posted it on our our Facebook page. The uh, actor who played Leatherface. Gunner oh Hansen, yeah. Yes. He had can- pan- pancreatic cancer. I didn't. He's know already that. raised one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. What's What's the goal? Three, two million. Oh well, shit! When did it start? Like twenty minutes ago. Holy shit! If you get five point five million, they'll do a whole twelve episodes, a, a small, a short run season. I would say it they're takes five point five million to sit and BS <laughs> over. Y- yeah, minutes. well, the problem is they got it. They don't have a network paying for it, so they got it. Oh. They got to make more money because there's no advertisers. Although oh, you know, no. I would think IFC or someplace like that would pick this up. Oh yeah, somebody AMC. Would. Yeah, I mean, uh, but if you they know don't, what? El Rey will get it. El there Rey would go. be great. That'd be a great place to put it. This can't cost more than From Dust Till Dawn. Yeah. No, because all they're doing is watching, you know, or I guess if they do the whole studio, the set and the storyline crap. I did, When I think of science theater, all I think about is I'm sitting in the theater watching movies. Yeah. And well, I'm that's, like, that's got to be low production. Know, this makes you. sense because they stopped Cinematic Titanic. And I was wondering, mm-hmm. why are you stopped doing Cinematic Titanic? Which, that is Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yeah. I mean, complete with there's a story. Where there's guys that make them watch bad movies. There's the silhouettes, you know. And Cinematic Titanic was great, and, but they stopped doing it all of a sudden. I'm like, why the fuck did they stop doing this? And they were like, oh no, we're all all the guys that write this and work on the show live too far apart, and it, it's just it's a hassle. And I was like, this smells of bullshit, mm-hmm. and this is why because they were trying to do this. Oh, that's glorious! I'm so happy today. Yeah, well, but you're you're a Mike fan, right? That is true, Uh-oh. and he's in Rift Tracks. Yeah, yeah, I am a Mike. Oh, no. Well, they just, that's the weird thing. Rift Tracks just came out, and they've started airing, streaming mi- old Mystery Science Theater 3000 Ooh. episodes, and that just happened a couple days ago. Huh. I so I'm thinking this is all connected. So. Wait, I wanted to say another thing about Gunnar Hansen. Oh, Hansen's. my gosh, Mystery no. Science Theater 3000 Texas coming Chainsaw back. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Taken far too my, soon. my favorite movies. Uh, the first... The first script I ever wrote was a, a remake of Texas Chainsaw. Actually, it was like a line by line, like ripoff. And then me and my friend kind of uh, modified it, <laughs> and then we shot some. Of the Were you okay? You did a Gus Van Sant psycho style remake of. <laughs> well, we didn't actually make it. But like I said, but so, that was the plan. But well, no, we were going to do a remake, but we were going to make it gorier and funnier. We we're going to add like slapstick. <laughs> yeah, there's not. Elements. You know what? There is not a lot of gore in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first one. Right. It's it's odd. It's you expect it. You expect it to be. Well, yeah, but it was filmed in 70. What was it? Uh, it came out in 74. Yeah, really. Gore wasn't huge back then. I right. mean, it wasn't. It was shocking enough without it. Yeah, yeah he was too busy inventing the Internet. Well, and at actually. That point. Oh. They, 
Uh, I, I'm pretty sure Toby Hooper, the director, uh, has said, and it may, it may have just been because of budget constraints, but, you know, a lot of the stuff they would actually cut away, you know, and it, and you actually, but people will remember, like, like when Sally gets hung on the meat hook, uh, it's a, or not, no, no, it's not Sally, uh, Pam. Uh, I don't know. I, I've only uh, seen it like twice, and I didn't get, I didn't, the nuances of their names, I don't yeah. care, they're Sally, meat. Sally's they're meat the for girl the grinder. that survives, no. Pam's the girl that dies. But there's a scene, uh, okay. a famous scene where she gets hung on a meat hook, and I mean, if you ask anybody, mm. like just remembering the movie, they'll say, you know, when that when they saw the meat hook like rip into her her body, it was no, it was that, you never see that. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, yeah, it's 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 from a different angle. You can't even see it. Yeah, and, and just so your mind's filling shit in, right? Which is, and and I, that's what I'm saying. Like I believe I, I've heard Toby Hooper in interviews and other people. You know, talk about you know your your mind makes everything worse. You know, so it's better to cut away, which is yeah, yeah I I yeah. But uh, I also wanted to. Uh, uh, this is a story that came out a few weeks ago. Um, the fact that he had cancer makes me think. Reminded me um, that I'm sure you guys heard that uh, the World Health Organization oh, classified God. processed Most meats meat. as cancer as they're not presumed cancer. I mean, they're in the same category as plutonium. Oh whatever. And uh yeah. and so, cigarettes. So I can't breathe the air, nope. I can't drink the water, nope. I can't eat the meat. Nope. You can't eat bacon anyway. Or yeah. ham or uh, ham, I it, tell you what. It's I had a burger before I came crap. here, guess what it had on it? Bacon. And I've got cancer. No, you have a a eighteen percent. You have to eat it every day. That's yeah. what they don't tell you. You have to eat yeah. bacon every single day. Well, I do not eat bacon every well, single day. It's it's the same people. They they rush to shit where they go. Did you know if you ate you no know, a uh, uh, hamburger has been shown to cure cancer in mice? Well, yeah, you have to eat like six pounds a day and you know all that shit. It's like no. Yeah, that's no. the thing. You have to eat bacon every day. I eat bacon like twice a month. Right. If that. Yeah. Well, and another thing about it though that I read, um, I believe, I I don't know. I don't know. I didn't read deep enough into it no for sure but i believe that heat is also a component like if you oh. cook them to a certain temperature that's what creates the chemical the ca- cancer causing yes, uh, yeah, reaction yeah, yeah. so they're all full as shit. long as you eat raw bacon and ham yeah and that's stuff, I, yeah fine. i heard it was part of the the cure or the processing well that's yeah yeah, yeah that's what the, well, the and cancer then, and causing then, stuff is like the the uh it's not the actual the, bacon. Uh, phosphates. Like, if yeah. you were to go out, kill a hog, slice it off, and cook the bacon, yeah, you're it's fine. All, it's right. the processing shit. Right. So they're but trying to tell us something good is bad for us, sausage. but it's actually the big, gigantic corporations making the bacon that just are bad like for us. Just like most things. Just uh, like, uh, just, uh, exactly, just like but, most but things. But like you said, we'll eat it raw, and then they come out and say, oh, did you know that mo- you know, that there, there's more of a chance with people with, uh, like, tapeworms in their brains than we ever yeah. thought, you know? Right. Like, wait, what? That's crazy. Yeah, right. That That is some freaky, that, those poor parasites yeah it's yeah. like holy shit wait i got those what's what's bad about those they cause you to die i think i don't um, know i don't know what they do but there is some kind of brain oh uh, well, at least i'll get some rest thing. all right we might have our he-man guys michael this Hearn. Is, wow this is really cool too builder. he looks better than dolph lundgren I think. oh yeah yeah no <laughs> that's good that actually i don't know people, if that guy can ask but a- we, i don't know if that guy can ask. Know can ask that's a freudian slip right there <laughs> He, he he more or less was talking about how he's got to get in a different. He had to was it lose some lean muscle and add this kind of no just to get bulked up. I mean a that bit. dude even but in the face looks like He Man. Well, he doesn't say he is He Man. He says he has to do this for the He Man movie. Oh, that's oh. He Man. So look yeah. at this dude. <laughs> Hitler would be spanking his monkey over this guy. <laughs> that dude's so Aryan. <laughs> that dude is so. Aryan. Oh. Yes, Wein Fuder, Fusion Russian, this is Russian. Oh, okay. oh, you are so Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> so Aryan. Um, the Hitler masturbating sketch, folks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, we have to stop the man bun. <laughs> the what? No, this has been uh, something Do new. Hey, man, I don't want none unless <laughs> it's got bun, hun. That's stupid. Yes. <laughs> and I understand if you have the hair to put up or it, it's one of those things. It's like, it's not a, it's not a purse. It's a man bag. You know, no, no, it's a purse. Dude. <laughs> it's, I don't care what you, 
I mean, it's one of these things that, you know, well, women get to have fake hair all the time and extensions and, and, and weaves and this and that. Well, no, no. Yeah, they can wear that, but I got called names for having a Padawan braid. Come on. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> did you ever have a Padawan braid? No, I didn't have a Padawan braid. I've never grown my hair. As I, long as my hair's ever been, is to my shoulders. And yet Will and I are going, yeah, we could see it. <laughs> yeah, no, you totally believe it, though, yeah, didn't you? I, I totally That's believe what, it. That's what, the fact that you had to ask means that it is in the realm of possibility that I did that. Uh, Walking Dead casts their um, Negan. See, I right. thought they cast Negan a while back. I thought it was supposed to be, um, shit, the guy from Ad Men. <clears throat> but oh, really, John Hamm? Yeah, I thought John Hamm was cast in The Walking Dead. Cool. That was it was wow. a while back. Did I tell I you guys, I saw him in L.A. Mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, beautiful man, beautiful the, man. It was the night he's from after Missouri, you know. The, yeah, yeah, he's from St. Louis. Louis yeah. Mm-hmm. He actually was wearing a Cardinals hat. I mean, all like, all us people from Missouri are very handsome, good-looking oh, yes. men like that that are hung like a horse, from what I've heard. <laughs> from what I've heard, <laughs> actually, no, I've seen I've seen photos of him in his loose-fitting slacks, and oh, they're like, look at that, and it's like, yeah, Liam Neeson quality going on. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson has a. Ro- Haven't you ever heard Janice Dickinson <laughs> no. talk about like it was a freaking Evian bottle of a dick? <laughs> Who the no. hell's Janice Dickinson? The model, the supermodel, oh. who who looks terrible, that looks like she's made out of leather now. No. Because she was rode hard and put away wet, apparently, by Liam Neeson. Well, it, you know, when Liam Neeson ripped oh. all her skin when he yeah, had no. sex with her, so she had to do something. Real quick rundown, Walking Dead. I, uh, You watch it this week, Will? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I don't know if I can remember any of it, it. It's one of those, you've got, it's like, okay, Here's an hour of something that happened over here. Now we have to recap what happened that hour over here, and then we got to recap that hour over here. Right. So okay, you get three yeah. episodes all oh, in the shit. same time what frame. The fuck? Yeah, it, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> all I know is it's been two weeks and we don't know shit about Glenn yet. Yeah. My wife is not happy. Well, <laughs> so. Wait. That's something you would have wanted to know the resolution to? Yeah, like right away. You would have thought the producers of the show would know that and would have... Drug it, yeah. Would have got right on that. Yeah, you think they'd get right on the resolution, because I'm sure they're not, you know, know, dragging that out to keep you watching or anything. (laughs) Oh, wait, yes, they are. I think what's going to happen is in the last episode... Herschel's going to open the barn. Oh, or wait, no. Who who's going to open it? Uh, who who opened the barn? Oh shit! The same guy that let the dog. Uh, out? Shane, right? Shane, I think. Did. And uh, and Glenn's going to come out, and uh, who's going to shoot him? Uh, who? Uh, Herschel. Herschel. Herschel <laughs> shoots him. <laughs> Huge Herschel comes we back. Just, we get, you know what? Just put their names on a dice and roll yeah, it. Yeah, really. And we'll find out who. Much. Yeah. Who's well, going to do what? Herschel's dead. They they chopped his head off. So, right. I'm but that's what happened at the end. He was a Highlander. Three. No, they <laughs> just did it for. Oddly enough, people do die that way. <laughs> and that was uh, that would have been great. That would have been the guy. greatest crossover ever. It's just like like they cut Herschel's head off in the show, <laughs> and like all these zombies, and then all of a sudden somebody gets a fucking quickening. <laughs> it's like holy shit, Highlanders exist here too. Well, they gotta do something because it's. I mean, it, it's just slow. It's getting slow. And that's where the virus came from because they can't die. They go. tried to. They yeah. tried to get immortality from a Highlander, and it backfired and made the zombie virus. Well, uh, we've always I talked solved about. It. <laughs> you didn't solve anything. You maybe you solved the origin, but well, there's more makes to, sense it to me. Because we've always talked about wouldn't there come a time when just they've they've rotted away so much that they can't move? Yeah. Well, they're trying to escape through these sewers, or they're trying to get out of town through these sewers past these walkers, and they move some beams so this collapsed part of a tunnel, and two of them come out that's damn near just skeletons. How are they moving without muscles? I mean, they've got shit. I mean, it's like when she's grabbing at them, like their shoulder, her hand is going through the skin. It's How? so nasty. Okay. Yeah. No matter, okay, if yeah. you don't have muscle structure, you uh, can't move. Don't ask me. It's sort of like in all those movies where they have severed the head and the head is talking. That doesn't, doesn't work. work. No. <laughs> but? I saw a zombie movie where they put a vibrator to the dude's. It was a. Uh, it was. Oh, uh, what was the movie? But it was about zombies, and the guy got his head cut off, and so they put a. He they found a vibrator oh, yeah. and put it to the throat so he could talk. God. Like a voice box. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because his head was separated from his body, so he, he couldn't talk without his lungs. Let's see, uh, Constantine was on Arrow. Good yeah. episode. Yeah, I didn't see that. It, it was kind of a, a, almost like a quick in and out. It seemed, but it was a good. It did, what a did, good now? Cameo. Did your theory pan out? On that's why he was there. Yeah, yeah, that's he was what there happened. To reunite. 
Okay. And it's it's well, lovely. and it, and they shoot. It was so. I don't know. It was funny because okay. So one of the things. Have you watched any Arrow? I watched one episode of Arrow. Okay. okay. Well, so you're familiar with the island? Like that's the and thing. He was stranded on. I do remember that. I do remember yeah. that. That he was. <laughs> very early on that they went off and dropped them up and that's how he learned all his arrow shit right. with some like Asian guy that was there. Yes. Or and and so like I, every season they reveal that in this five year span he did like another five years worth of stuff on this island. Uh, and there's like all this cons- every every this is So like, like this- Arrow's like fifty? Is that what I'm <laughs> Well no, it's, it's like he tells everybody he was on this this island for five years. He was actually on the island for like four months, got off was off the, the island for about six months and then dropped back on <laughs> and was on there for who knows how long. Right. Yeah, for like the most remote and deserted island in the world. It's a lot of, of people, sir. Like yeah. A lot of different. And so, yeah. <laughs> that reminds so, me of Gotham this week, but we'll talk. We'll get there's there. There's like a whole flashback where it shows he meet he met John Constantine on the island. He just happened to show up there. Yeah, like, looking for an artifact. Uh, yeah. I thought that was Treasure hunting. Cheesy. But they had to do the backstory. How do right. you know this guy? How do you know blah, blah, blah. You know how do you how does he owe you kind of stuff, but they said don't don't expect him to show up anytime soon because it, it was just a lot of scheduling hassle to get him on this time. No, really. But I guess they've started a petition again, tried to get Constantine on a different channel. Hmm. Well, so, that would be it was in the wrong places. Oh, anyway. it was. They say everyone says NBC is known for just wanting to cancel everything, not even giving anything a shot. Oh, so they're Fox. <laughs> Wait, ABC. No, CBS. No, it was NBC. Oh, it was NBC. NBC was, Supergirl's on CBS, right? Which I guess its ratings are going down. Yeah. It was, I I watched second episode. It's not great, but. You know what? We set, we we recorded it on the DVR. For some reason, (laughs) the DVR cut off the first half hour. Oh. We, but we watched it and we didn't feel like we missed anything. (laughs) Like, I don't know what happened that first half hour, but we just dropped right into the story and it's like, okay, well, so this is what happened. It's resolved. Yeah. Cool. So I guess maybe don't bother watching the first half hour if you got time constraints. No. Uh, the Flash, we got a Dr. Light. Oh, I like, yeah, I want to talk about Flash. Okay, talk about Flash. Because I like Flash. Okay. Um, and it, but, okay. <laughs> so uh, my favorite, I just want to talk about my f- how much of a, there's a story with, with Dr. Light, but all I want to talk about is, is Dr. Wells from Earth <laughs> yeah. 2. Yeah. Because he's clearly, again, the star of this show. <laughs> yeah. Because he's even more of a dickhead. <laughs> yes. Did you catch where he called Cisco Crisco yeah. and nobody was <laughs> yeah. nobody reacted. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, he keeps <laughs> calling hilarious. him Crisco, yeah. <laughs> and that's the greatest line from Cisco. He's like, our 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 Dr. Wells was evil, but you're just a dick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. And did you guys catch where I don't remember who said it, but somebody was like I think you've been running. You you run it so fast, you scrambled your brains. Oh, yeah. He was talking. That was to a plug the, for us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but the uh, did you catch the uh, the Caitlin Snow said Cisco? I don't think any of us would just become evil because we got powers, <laughs> and she's going to become Killer Frost and so, become yeah, completely that's exactly evil what, because she yeah. gets powers. So, uh, and I I just want to say I thought the uh, what's that character's name Starlight or whatever? Do- Doctor Light. Okay, this is. That was the, the non-rapey doctor costume I've ever seen. I, yeah, well, she it, the original costume's just all white. Well, it's yeah. white and black. It's but, white and black. Yeah, yeah, cape and you know head what's so crazy is the and... the male Doctor Light because there's two Doctor Lights. Yes, there's a male. He's on Teen Titans, the show. Teen Titans Go. <sighs> yeah, and well, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> hold up. Now I noticed this too because you know they don't they're they're doing this for a different audience. And I can't remember exactly what happened. I walked in the middle of it where I think somebody found like a big box of like old DVD or uh, VCR tapes. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, let's watch this show. And I want to watch that. Like, I want to watch Golden Girls. And I want to watch. And, and Starfire goes, I want to watch the Bill Cosby with the sweaters. And the oh. funny I was like, ooh. So that, that wouldn't get by censors now, probably. Yeah, that's. But yeah, that show is. And and he's he Doctor Light's kind of feminine in that show. He's not yeah the, he full is. out you know f- flamer, but he's he's a little feminine. full out flamer. He was, <laughs> like he was way more that. feminine on Flash though. Yeah, well it was a female. Which she's not really Linda Park in the books, but no. So yeah, that was like, weird that it was his ex girlfriend. Well, and well, if you notice, they also did that with Adam Smasher. 
where Adam, the guy from Earth-1, didn't get powers when the accelerator went off, but his Earth-2 counterpart did. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Linda Park. So is it just a random thing? I, is it a right place, right time I think it might thing? be a right place, right time thing. Yeah, because apparently it's not genetic. That maybe or you get that the Linda same. Park was somewhere where she got hit with the wave more intensely, intensely. Yeah. than that one. Maybe that one was on vacation that <laughs> week or something. We'll never know. Well, they didn't have a dark matter wave in the Earth One. Well, we had. Well, the but they had an accelerator, accelerator right. that yeah, opened it's up. It was a different scenario. Yeah, but it opened up rips in reality that dark matter did come through. So yeah, yes, that's it was too yeah, different. Yeah, it's weird. So in other words, Wells fucks. Well, okay, Thwain did it on purpose, or Thon. 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 Yvonne did it. Thon. Yeah, Yvonne. Yvonne Thon did it on purpose. Wells hopefully fucked up. Yeah, well, I don't know. yeah. I, I, you know what? I think, I think the reason they're making him such an asshole is because you're like, see, this one's evil too, and I don't think he is. It's just guilt. He's just a dick. He's oh. just, he's just like, you know what? He's, and I do think maybe it's a little bit of guilt, and all that other stuff. But I mean, he's just. I think that's the reason they're making him bad like that, is so you will think he's bad, but he's not. He's yeah. just an asshole. Well, and actually, I felt I did like. There was a line that he had where he was. Uh, I think it was when he first met Caitlin, and she's like, <gasps> you look just like him. And he's like, oh, I suppose I ruined your life, too, or whatever. <laughs> he's yeah. like, yeah, uh, no, her fiancé died, her husband died. Yeah, yeah that's funny, like, oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, so, oh, sorry, we'll, we'll get back, Neil. This is between me and Will. Cover yours. Oh. Where the, 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 in, the wa er, in, the, in the Evil Dead, where something happens, and Ash goes, Ash, you can let go. I won't give details. All right. Ash, yeah. the, Ash keeps doing something. I'm the only one at this table yeah. who has not seen the most recent As, episode. Ash keeps doing something. Exactly oh, yeah, that's right. He didn't watch it. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I, go through all this, I go through he all this. I go through all this trouble. Because it, it was a window media file and he's got a Mac. Yes. Are you? <laughs> well, then half the shit I've given you won't work. Right. I have to convert it. I just. I, <laughs> I, was, I I've do been for you boys, it. and I do for you boys. <laughs> well, there's a part. Okay, fuck all you. Talk okay. to yourself. <laughs> Ash shows up at the girl's parents' house. And the whole point, he's like, she's a deadite. She's a deadite. I know she's a deadite. Mm -hmm. And everything's proven him wrong. Mm -hmm. So finally, he's they're sitting there having dinner. And she's like, she says, well, can we just eat dinner now? And he looks at her and just goes, wham, and knocks her on her ass. <laughs> And and she's sitting there crying. Everyone's like, oh, mom, mom. And he's like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> and finally she gets up. She's a dead eye. And he goes, whew. Oh, there yeah. for a minute I was really starting to feel like a dick. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So he was doing that like in Austin Powers when it's like. It's like, a man. man. <laughs> he jumps on it. He's like, why won't this wig come <laughs> off? <laughs> pretty much. Well, you have to admit, if it is that it is a woman. <laughs> it's an ugly woman. Dear God. She's rather mannish. Oh, I miss Austin Powers. That's another thing. Mystery Science Year 2000 is coming back. I need another Austin well, Powers. They've talked really? about another I, one. See, I'm the only person in the world that wants this, and I want it. Well, because three was so bad. <laughs> I kind of liked three. Yeah. They, they just declined steadily. After uh, yeah. See, I think two was the worst because yeah. all the Austin Power jokes were the same jokes from one. But then it came in, and they had Fat Bastard Mini Me that saved the show. Yeah. That that two is all about the villains. You don't need Austin Powers. Right. Yeah. Well, um, real quick while we're still in the Flash, uh, a new um, the first week of December there will be a Flash Arrow two parter, not like last season where it's just an episode of Flash with Arrow and an Arrow uh, Flash uh, pff, an episode of Arrow with Flash. This will be a two parter. It starts in Arrow, ends in Flash. Picture came out with Hawkman and Hawkwoman. Ooh, now, did you catch that we is did that Adam Smasher too? No, that's uh, that's oh, that's, uh, uh, that's not, Diggle. Yeah, Diggle, uh, not Magneto. Now, you guys may not have caught on Flash. Hawkgirl was on Flash last week. She was. Where the was it? She was the chick that that Cisco kept trying to pick up at the coffee barn. That was her. That's that's oh, Hawkgirl. Yes. Oh, well, I noticed the hot Latina. Trust me, yeah. but I didn't realize that was yeah, the girl who's going to be. Girl. Uh, Oh, because she says I'm new in town. Yes, yeah. and she's got she starts fiddling with her little dagger necklace. Oh from, my yeah, gosh! But that's I can't awkward. believe I missed now, that. Now my son declined to believe that because apparently the actress got her teeth fixed. <laughs> 
Because, okay, the end of season one, she's in the crowd where she looks up and sees the big hole in the sky. Mm -hmm. She's got a decent-sized gap in her teeth. Oh, and she's got braces over there. Apparently she got got it fixed or something I didn't notice. But my son said, but, Dad, she doesn't have the gap in her teeth like a girl does. Maybe she That doesn't mean anything. I am a a librarian as a profession. Uh If you look on the back of the book for Dean Koontz, the poor man Stephen King, Receding hairline, receding hairline, receding hairline, almost bald. All his hair's back. All his hair's oh, back. Yeah. All his hair's back. All his hair's back. He's clearly a toupee. Oh, yeah. We can the see. Plugs. Come on, Dean. You're not fooling anybody. Just go bald gracefully. <clears throat> I think there may be something a little more mysterious afoot. Oh, maybe oh, a deal with the devil since or something. You, since you did bring up uh, Stephen King, mm-hmm. took the boy to go see Goosebumps. This oh. weekend. Well, that's R.L. Stein. Well, yeah. Well, no, but the or thing King. is, mm-hmm. uh, Jack Black is R.L. Stein in this. Mm-hmm. And oh, really? Yeah, he's okay. he plays R.L. Stein, and he he ref, you know he won't tell anybody. He's supposed to like come to town. No one knows who he is. You know, and the kids are in the back going, "Aren't you R.L. Stein?" No, 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 I'm not. He goes, "Oh, well, that's good because you know that poor. He's just a poor man's, you know, <laughs> the Stephen King. That's funny. And he hits the brick. Goes, Let me tell you about Steve King. <laughs> that hack's pretty funny. Know, actually, he, he goes off. He goes, I've sold more copies than you. Know, blah blah blah. You know. And, I would love to. But have see what King's at the money. end. Um, at the end, he becomes the like substitute English teacher at the school. And as Jack Black, as R.L. Stein walks out of the classroom, like, you know, the bell goes off, they're walking out, he is passed by R.L. Stein <laughs> and looks at Black and goes, uh, he goes like, Mr. Mister Stein. And he goes, Mr. Black. He goes, yes, that's Mr. Black. He's the new Eng- or he's the new drama teacher or something like that. So he gets his cameo He should have said he was the new music teacher, thus tying it into School of Rock. There you go. They but totally it- stole that from Fear and Loathing. Oh, yeah. But did uh, Hunter S. Thompson do a game? Yeah. Yeah. I have not ever seen Fear and Loathing. Oh, really? oh, I've got it. You've got it. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. That's one of those. Yeah. But um, it was a good movie. It yeah. was a good kid movie. That was Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Well, that too. But <laughs> that was a good kids movie. You should show that to all your six and seven year old. Oh, absolutely. You know what else is another good one? <laughs> short bus. Go uh, show your kids short bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! And and this. Look it up, people. And not to go <laughs> off on a tangent, what was the name of that movie we watched with the uh, the the secret agent, the midget secret? The oh, person, um, person. for your height only. Okay, right. and what was the name and of that agent? Kid. Um, Wang Wang, or Agent Double O. Yeah, Agent Double. Agent o- what was? Oh, that was such a funny movie. And there is a kid that is on these these. Uh, Oh, Hope House or whatever. It's like, if you help these children walk, blah, blah. He's in a wheelchair, and all I can see is that guy off off for your height only. It's like, it's that dude, or it's that dude's kid. I don't know. Oh, and He looks like a little... Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just... That was a weird tangent. That was. Uh, we got a new Star Wars TV ad. Oh, yeah. The eyes. The eyes. I don't know who's talking. It's something that says oh, that, like, I I've, these that. eyes have been wrong to seem the same, same eyes in different faces. Oh, I faces think that's the guess something. who. And I don't know who is I talking. Think, I think they're getting it that the chick in this movie, the young chick, is Luke's mom reborn. Ooh. Uh, that's dumb. That would be. <laughs> uh, well, but, I think I'm pretty. Cl- I think oh. the chick is um, Leia and Han's kid. I think she has to be. Um, yeah. Amazon might have let a major movie plot oh, point. Oh, is this for Star Wars? I'm going to do this again. Blah, blah, blah. No, blah. no. Now, this may or may not be. Someone might have just messed okay. up. There is a uh, puzzle tin of Finn. Mm-hmm. You flip it on the back, and I assume they wrote it right off the back of the tin, you know, mm-hmm. where they're putting in the description. It says Lando's son. What? Lando Carissian's son, Finn. Yeah. I th- remember when I theorized that, and I was <laughs> yeah, joking. Yeah, because there's only one other black guy. There's only one other theorized. black guy. That makes total sense where he gets the lightsaber now, too, because that was on Bespin. Yeah, so uh, ah, but so Lando's like, hey, you're uh, you're 12. Here's a lightsaber. Yeah, look what I found. I don't that, know who it could birthday. belong to. Or maybe 16. That'd be a sweet 16 kind hey, of birthday present. Hey there, son. What do you have? Is that a Colt 45? 
Listen, I'll trade you for that. Yeah, so so let's get this straight now. Now now Lando Works knows Lando knows Luke. We know he's not probably extremely close to Luke, but once you think you'd say, Hey, I found your shit. He wasn't exclu- he was he can't be extremely close to Han because he's constantly calling him Han. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Han! He just knows that the piss You think the universe universe every once he was like Dude, Han. everybody else calls me Han. You've known me for years. I my tell you my name is Han. You keep saying Han. There are people, family, and close friends of family who still call, that's known Brett, my son Brett, mm-hmm. since birth, that still calls him Brett. <laughs> <laughs> who would name their kid Brett? Come on, it's got to be Brett. <laughs> so, yeah, I can see where he's either doing it just to piss him off, or he honestly can't pronounce it, I don't know. He also calls Bespin, Bespin. <laughs> Well, well, speaking of Star Wars, this is, this is actually a really, really depressing, sad story. Yay. Uh, there was a fan, Daniel Fleetwood. Yeah. He had terminal cancer. And the, they only gave him two months to live. And they gave him two months to live like four months ago. Mm. So he's still alive. And they, his wife started a petition to see The Force Awakens. Star Wars, Episode 7. Well, J.J. Abrams acquiesced. And he saw it. And then a week later, he, he succumbed and he died. died. Now, that is a sad story. It's super depressing. But do you know how many assholes come the next episode, episode, what, eight, mm-hmm. is going to all of a sudden have terminal cancer and want to see Isn't this movie Isn't this the early? plot to fanboys? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm just saying, somebody's going to try to pull that shit. Or my kid has cancer. Dad, I don't want to well, shave he, my head. Shut up, Billy. I'm going to tell you what. If he was faking, he sold it really well. Well, no, I'm not saying he's yeah, faking. Right. That's commitment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he faked it. What I'm no, saying I'm is there's going to be some assholes. Now, do you think? Do you think it was so good that he's like, now I can die, or was it no. so bad that he's like, I have no will left to live? <laughs> right. He must have told somebody something. <laughs> Last words. It sucked. I held out for that piece of shit. Why? Why would I use that as my last wish? So, so, is so that terrible. What, is that what they're trying to get at? Is he only had two months to live, but he was fighting so he could see Star Wars. He wasn't going to die until he saw I Star Wars. But it's a sad. Yeah. It's. I'm glad then they were bastards it. for showing it to him early. Because if they would have waited, he would have lasted two no, more weeks. That's terrible. <laughs> Now the family's suing because they took his will to live. You gave him the only thing that was keeping him alive. He didn't didn't have any reason to live anymore. We were going to tell him he couldn't go because chemotherapy and he could see it on DVDs just to get him to last that much longer. By the time it came out on DVD, he'd be like, well, don't you want to stay alive for episode eight? (laughs) I must know how it goes. No, that would be be terrible. It's a sad, sad story. We're making light, but it's sad. No, it is. It's it's, very... It sucks that that has to happen, and uh, they should totally cure that. I, I hope he didn't eat bacon. You know what? I'm on board with curing cancer also. I'm really? On Are you way. on board with curing cancer, Nick? <sighs> it does help with population control. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to say it, but hey, I, I'm a firm believer that if we cured cancer, something else would just pop up and be worse. Right. What could be worse than cancer? Mm-hmm. Let's t- tempt fate. Yay. <laughs> There's reasons some of that shit exists, but yes, yes, I've lost, mm. I've lost plenty of family member to cancer. It it's be. like what could be worse than AIDS? Super AIDS. No. But uh, did we talk about how George Barris died? George Barris, the guy who designed the Batmobile. Did we talk about that? No, oh, because no, that happened. Oh, that, that happened after, after we after, right after yes. we went off. That's what I was. How wondering. did he die? And just. Old. Well, he was frickin' 92 years yeah, old. Yeah, he died 92. That's but we lost the guy. Failed. But he did. He did the Batmobile. The Monsters did, coach. You know, yeah. He, um, I think he did. Did he do Kit? Mm, I don't think so. I couldn't. He, I don't think he did the General Lee because that's just pointy. Like, paint that Charger orange and put a Confederate flag on the top. I'm sure Amazon will never pull this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so, you know, but it's kind of weird because he, the Batmobile is actually, um, a Lincoln Futura, Futura, something like that. It's a -a one-of-a-kind car. He destroyed a -a one-of-a-kind car to make the Batmobile. Oh, yeah. Well, wouldn't Bruce Wayne do the same thing? Yeah, he would. Well, yes, but he's Bruce Wayne. It's, you know, 
That's what Bruce – Bruce Brain wouldn't desi- destroy a one-of-the-kind car. He would design a one-of-the-kind car from the ground up. Um, wait, did we – did you – did you clarify this is Batman 66? Yeah. Yes, yes, but, yes uh, it's me. The, the one that when you think Batmobile, this is the one you think of. The 1989 Tim Burton Batman no. because that's when I yeah, think Batman. Yeah, that's the one I think. Well, well you know what? Yeah, pups. that's the first one, and then I probably think Christopher Nolan. Or Get actually, in the car. Which one? Uh, <laughs> you know, but, that's a very deep Kim Basing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Get in the car. It's about what she sounds like Which now, one? I'm sure. Da, 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 da. I remember everybody laughed in the theater. <laughs> she's he's like get in the car and he's like she's like which one and then it pulls back and it's like fucking like a gigantic <laughs> Black. car shaped like a bat <laughs> and everybody's like ah because <laughs> which other one would oh. it be <laughs> and you know they did play out how stupid she was she was an idiot how much do you weigh uh uh 105 you no, weigh a no, 108. More. Yeah, you weigh a little, you weigh a little more, more than 108. 108. That was stupid. That was her being, that was... Conceded. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, that's what it was, conceded. You weigh a little more than 108. Mm. I'm Batman. I'm just going to do Batman from now on. <laughs> what other stories do we have? Um, We didn't, since, you know, good segue, we didn't talk about Gotham last week. Let's talk about oh. Gotham. Or, I guess this week. Yeah, I don't like the Gotham. Time. It portrays me as a big puss. <laughs> well, he's 12. Still, <laughs> it, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be that the worst part of that show is Bruce Wayne. I just, I like ah. No, the worst part of that show is Barbara. And I are we going to well, talk about this Tuesday? That, did you see? Did you watch it last? Oh, night? I watched yeah. it. I watched it yesterday. Since, so we since have we're two recording episodes. on Tuesday, yeah. I actually got to watch Gotham. So there's two episodes. Last week and this week, yeah. We recorded last, but is it not? Taking away from the because okay, the death of his parents would is what scarred him and makes him want to be Batman. They're making it sound like you guys. I don't get to watch it as much. You guys make it sound like well, it was everything that happened to him afterward that scarred him for life and made him want to be Batman. Nah. All this no bad. Although I have a new on. theory. Oh lord! You know how you're always like, well, none of these guys can be super villains because he's not Batman, and they become super villains after. Or well, this is a, of, this is know. a new universe. Yeah. What if he becomes Batman because of the because of the, the super villains? villains. That they start seems... dressing up. They start going crazy. They start putting costumes on. Yeah. And he's like, well, that's what's so it's the exact that's opposite. Yeah. Batman didn't cause the super villains to show well, up. It's... The super villains created Batman. That would be different. I think it makes more sense because you know. So how? So how's the? Uh, what's her name? Crazy bitch. Barbara. Yeah. How's the Barbara show going? <sighs> she didn't. I don't think she appeared in the episode last week. No. She was a big part of this this week. This week. Like the main character. Which you yeah. should have heard me at the climax of this show. I'm like, he keeps pulling guns on her, and I'm like, shoot her! Just for the love of God, <laughs> God fucking shoot her. shoot her and kill her! Kill Barbara! Kill Barbara! Kill she's, Barbara! But and she's she, a freaking bad. She <laughs> falls out a two-story window, and I'm like, yes! And, finally! And yes! She lives. And then they cut to the next scene, and they're putting her on her stretcher, and, and, and uh, Jim's girlfriend's going like, luckily the bushes broke her fall. And I'm like, fuck! You show, <laughs> and this is where they show uh, Leslie Thompson in the back of the ambulance putting a pillow over her face. Oh, I wish, I wish. <laughs> oh my gosh, why can't? And I'm just like, after the show's over, I'm just sitting on the couch, like leaning back, going, "Why can't Barbara die?" <laughs> well, she'll because she's Al Ghul. She's she'll be gone for a while. Barbara Al Ghul. That's why. Uh huh. I just, I'm so mad that Jerome died. A really good character. Who I finally was starting to go like, hey, I could see this dude as Joker, and they kill him. But Barbara endures. It's oh, yeah. um, I'm so mad. Oh, the Beverly Hillbillies. He did the the Beverly Hillbillies oh, car. George cool. Barris. Sorry. Hmm. So. Oh, that was a cool car. That was a cool yeah. car. I saw that in L.A. last Especially year. Especially with the granny chair in the back. Yeah. Up top. Watch your head, granny. Remember that from the Beverly Hillbillies movie? Oh yeah. And he hit the overpass and knocked granny off. <laughs> Not <laughs> funny, man. Oh, it's that's funny. so funny. Oh, it's a little uh, brow. Hopefully, if this here, here's a great how how geekdom, nerdum, gamership should unite the world. And I'll, a quick little story. Anybody uh, don't know when this will be published or on, but for right now, this week, which is the ninth mm-hmm. through the what the fifteenth? No, it'd be like thirteenth. Uh, Target mm-hmm. has a buy two get one free on mm-hmm. video games. 
that's any video games, any Disney Infinity, any Lego stuff, uh, any Lego game. Buy two, get one free. Really? My kids got, let's see, um, oh, Fallout 4. He's looking forward to yeah. going down Halo there. Halo 5. Ooh. And then got Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate free. Oh. This is crazy. News. That's pretty good bundle to buy right there. Well, hold yeah, up. Yeah, Fallout uh, and the new Tomb Raider just came yeah, out today, too. For, uh, in, uh, for a Disney Infinity, this is the ones my son said he wanted. He wants Darth Vader. Natural. Ultron, okay, and Fear from Inside Out. <laughs> so, oh, so all the yeah, okay, and then for Lego is buy two get one free, and then for Lego we got the uh, Back to the Future set, nice, the Portal set, mm -hmm. and the Doctor Who set, hmm. which is great because you do get to choose in the Doctor Who set what Doctor you are. You can be all thirteen Doctors plus oh, really? the Doctor. I've seen wow. stuff where you can go in and actually like choose and pick, and he does regenerate when he when he does. Or if you die when you come back, you, you you're a different doctor. You're a different doctor. That's you're going neat. in reverse order. That's cool. Hmm. So, but I spent a little over two hundred dollars and saved a hundred like a hundred and twenty. Wow. So that's good. We're getting a video game systems on sale because I need. Yeah, a... I, it's well. It says all video games. Because so I, I need a, uh, I yeah, need a new Xbox. Ridiculous. Well, you'd have to buy like three. <laughs> you have to buy two and get one free. Oh, which well, the way you go through them? No shit. I mean, <laughs> that would be the best deal to go. This is. I'll be on my okay. third Xbox Will, if I buy Will, another one. What? What's the old Navy commercials? That's what Will looks like. Will's like going, okay, we're over. I'm going to Target. <laughs> I got to yeah. run to Target. Well, Sorry. I'm just trying to think what the third game would be. I, I don't know what else. Is uh, out. What else is out? I, is it Metal Gear? Not Metal Gear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or something like Gears of War or something well, like that's out. Or... Metal, yeah, Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, actually, yep. that, that's a good call. Yeah, I think that might be. So, but it's already been out for a couple months. It might already be dropped in price. Hmm. Probably not. But anyway. I was like, wait, if I buy an Xbox and then two games, can I get the Xbox for free? No. <laughs> And it's got to be the same thing. I don't think you can buy two Xbox One games and then buy a, a Lego something. You know, no. I, I don't think you'll have to look it up. But I did. But but the 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 geeks, you know, or it brings us together. I'm waiting outside of Target this morning mm -hmm. at at you know seven fifty nine. Two other guys there. I'm like shit. Like we're not all here for the same thing, are we? Of course we are. Ha ha ha. And one guy goes, No, I'm here for the soda. Because apparently for Fallout 4, they released a special soda. It's a Nuka bottle. Cola, yeah. Yeah. And the other guy was there for Hot Wheels. So I was like, okay, cool. We're good. You associated with a Hot Wheel collector? Well, I actually had to ask him a question. Unclean. Because <laughs> there, there's a, a, a DeLorean, a flying DeLorean. Hot yeah. Wheel out now. And I asked him, I said, I saw it once. I didn't pick it up for a buddy. I was going to. I can't find them anywhere. How hard are they to find? And like a normal Hot Wheel guy, he goes, well, it's not that they're hard to find. It's that guys are buying them like at a dozen at a time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, That's what dicks. happens. So anyway, I get back here, and I'm getting the mm -hmm. games. The guy went to get his soda. Turns out they only got 12, and they were only giving one per person. So here's this guy that I've only met for five minutes. Comes up to me and goes, hey, can you do me a solid? I go, what's that? He goes, can you buy a soda, and then I'll just pay you for it. <laughs> he doesn't know me. doesn't know <laughs> me from that. I go, yeah, sure, man, no problem. What? <laughs> you know? I, okay. Because they're collectibles. Oh, are they limited? Is that what they? Yeah, yeah they only okay. got twelve. Okay, I get you. And everybody wants one, and mm. it's like, well, and I'm there's this guy there at Target. He's a cool guy, always says hi, and he's looking at these bottles, and he's like, I don't get it. Why? Why does everybody want these? Why? What makes them special? And we're asking the people, is there like a code on it? It helps you with the game. Is there? They're like, no, it's just a collectible. So they're going home and putting it on eBay for sixty dollars. Yeah, yeah, well, that's um. But I thought it was a neat little story. This guy just felt comfortable mm -hmm. enough with me to come hey, up and hey, ask me to. Bye. Holy shit! I've been well, I've been really as we've been doing the show. I've yeah. also been monitoring the Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Remember, I said he raised one hundred and fifty thousand already. Holy shit! He has raised six hundred and eighty five thousand as of now. Well, he's raised like five hundred thousand since we started this. Yes. People all, want this show all, back. Oh, never mind. We're not yeah. live. <laughs> so, so, all thanks to us. He's yeah. Right. Uh, well, you know what? I'll I can maybe only credit. throw $10 at this, but well, when I get paid on up. Friday, I'm throwing $10 at it. <laughs> I don't care. I want this to happen. So he can say he helped to get this back. All right. Well, what are the premiums? 
I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. So, yeah, don't. It's don't I. I don't know. I don't care. You know what the premium is? I'm going to get what to watch Mystery Science Theater 3000 the again. Privilege. That's what the premium is. I don't care about any prizes or anything like that. Just let me watch this again. Oh yeah. Well, it's probably being helped by the fact that that's the front when you go to Kickstarter right now. That's, that's the first thing that comes up. Well, that's because They're it's pushing, insane. That's because like Kickstarter one. wants it to happen too. Yeah. Everybody. Well, wants you make it, to it sound like somebody's going. You know what? I've got a thousand dollars to blow. The first thing I see on Kickstarter, fuck it. I'll just give it. I bet you there are people like that. I oh, bet you there I are. I wish I was it. that person. No, because then I would be like, well, I would I would see if I was that person and I got on Kickstarter, I would be like, well, I have my $10,000. I will let's see what I'm going to back. And I'm like, holy shit, they're bringing Mystery Science Theater 3000 back. $10,000 for you. Oh, I don't have anything left for the rest of you. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This was far too important. It is. <laughs> Oh my gosh! They're almost they're they'll be at a million dollars by the end of the week, easy. Oh no! Oh, well, should they just get the five hundred thousand in twenty minutes? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure though. Well, see, I don't, I didn't check the actual site, so they, according to the article I read, they read it was over a hundred feet. I don't know when that oh, was written. Okay, but they've they've made five hundred thousand dollars in just a couple days. Yeah. So yeah. That's... This is so great. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You might as well just call this the Mystery Science Theater 3000 podcast. There we go. Well, that's what he'll do. He'll put the little brain on uh, on the big screen in front of him with them in the row. That's a good idea, that. actually. We haven't done that one yet already. I don't think we have. So, because I don't know if I don't know if the listeners know that Mystery Science Theater 3000 is my favorite television show of all time. Hmm. I mean, it is. It you know it doesn't get any better than this for me. I have. Over half the episodes on DVD, I am still searching out to get. I've got bootlegged ones. I've got official ones. I've got <laughs> I. What I do is when I get them, they're not in order. So I buy slim cases, print out custom made uh, DVD covers, put them in there, then put them in the correct order according to their seasons. That's how much anal retentive I am about Mystery Science Theater 3000. I love this show. Everyone's got to have something. Well, I love Spider-Man, too. But well, there you go. Gotta but that's, you know. So, oh, man, I've totally sidetracked this into the... But I just... <laughs> We're all looking I'm just, up, I'm but... just so excited about Mystery Science well, Theater 3000. I just cannot wait. And so you haven't even got the... Is there a video with him going, please give me yes, money? Yes, but I have it muted so it doesn't pick it oh, up on the mic. Well. We've lost um, Will, too. Lost he's, Will, like, uh, so he's over there watching it as well. Oh, uh, oh my think? gosh, this has gone up since I've been watching this. Yeah, it's gone up quite a bit. <laughs> uh, it just went up again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is, wow, for $250, you, they'll give you a collectible VHS tape of the, the new episodes. Oh, that's hilarious because they used to keep trading the tapes. That's the point, yeah, that's the idea that it's sort of. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh and well, mission glad. patches and. Yeah, stickers so, and postcards. So glad and... we've made your day, Matt. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to be useless for the rest of this episode. I'm sure there was other <laughs> things we need to talk about, but this is just oh, like... Oh, I did put up the, uh, what was it, the hotel registration for the new... Oh, was yeah. Kansas City or... Yeah, for a Planet Con. So, for Planet Con. And so... I'm going. Wait, what's uh, that? The hotel res uh, registration for Planet Con. Which is May next year. Yeah, they pushed it back early, a little yeah. bit. Which, so. sadly, is getting closer to Kansas City Comic Con, which is in August. That's probably what they're trying to do. They're trying to, you know, since they're first, they're going to, like, hurt them by taking some of the audience. They don't need to like, hurt them too much because Planet Con's vastly superior. Yeah. But well, it's uh, – Kansas City Comic Con was it, – it's pretty good for being the first. That's like saying that a teenager is vastly superior to a baby. Well, no, the baby's vastly superior to a teenager. A baby doesn't You're talk back. You're contradicting yourself, Matt. Oh, I hate all children, but if I had to pick one. Except his own. <laughs> yes. And mine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, I'd probably be more likely to like yours than mine, but no. whatever. <laughs> Son of. Wow. If for $5,000, you can appear in a new episode. Guys? No. No. <laughs> Now, if we could raise How fast 5, did you, you don't have to shoot me down us. that fast. Come on. I'm just saying. Boy, I wish we had a very, very loyal, large listenerhood that would 
donate fifteen. Yeah, we will accept so we donations could... to donate to the. the so that I can be on an episode of Mystery Science Theater three thousand. Right, if anybody wants to send. When I was a kid, when this was on, I wanted to grow up and be a writer on this show. Yeah. <laughs> And it can't canceled in 1999 while I was in college. And then you gave up your dreams. I did give oh, up my man. dreams. Speaking of which, I'm going to have to keep you updated. We might have you back out in a week or two. Survivor Series is coming up. Oh. And it might be the Wyatt fan. It's going to be the Wyatt family. Yes. Versus Kane, mm -hmm. the Undertaker, and it's rumored Sting. Ooh. So, Wait a minute! I Why hope that Sting sets up, up with those guys. I hope that sets up a kind of a like something happens where the Undertaker betrays Sting, and that sets up a thing for WrestleMania. Well, I just want Sting to win a match. Well, that would be great, but <laughs> they can't they can't fun. allow that because allowing Sting to win a match would say that WCW might actually have some merit. <laughs> no, just Sting. But I know Sting has merit. He's just getting too old, yeah. and that's the problem. Yes, that happens when you get old. But I'll tell you, I. I I'm living in some sort of weird, bizarro world. Sting's wrestling again. Mystery Science Theater 3000 is coming back. Ash and the Evil Dead. Ash and the Evil Dead. Star Wars. Bruce Star Campbell's Wars. playing Ash again, and Star Wars is coming out in December. The right? 80s all over again. Oh, and I just went and saw a Bond film. Oh, I saw, I saw a Spectre. Yeah. You saw Spectre, yes. You saw Spectre? No, but what happened was I had two free movie tickets. I decided to take my son, and then I, did, I didn't realize Spectre was coming out. So... I'd forgot about it. How was Spectre? Meh. Uh, it was okay. Just not. No, okay, it depends. That. It depends. Okay, this is a really from your point of view type of movie. Okay. Because as a diehard Bond fan, own every single movie except Never Say Never Again, which is I haven't been able to find it on DVD. Is the only reason I don't own it. Okay. I even own a DVD of the episode of Climax. Which sounds dirty, but it's not. That was an adaption of Casino Royale with Peter Lorre as La Chief. I wow. own this. I own the Woody what Allen, David out? Nevin, huh? What year is that from? Ah, uh, the sixties. Peter Lorre is still alive. Now? Early fifty or late fifties, early sixties. All right. Anyway, continue. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. And then I own every single Eon produced Bond film from Doctor No to Skyfall. I own them all. Okay. As that fan, it's not – the problem is, is here what they did. It's Daniel Craig. So yeah. they tried to do Daniel Craig Bond. But then there's some guys going like, let's remind people of the old Bond. And so they'll throw in something very Roger Moore-ish all of a sudden. And it doesn't and work. And it doesn't with... work. They clash. Mm. Well, what what's Roger Moore-ish? Like gadgets? They're uh, – in, in – I swear, in Moonraker, a pigeon does a double take. Oh, yes. <laughs> I remember, right? It's like an obvious, like, they cut it and, like, reverse yeah, it. Yeah, they, they, they let the it. film go forward, then they reverse the yeah. film. So the pigeon would do a double take. And mind you, this is while Bond is driving through Venice on a hovercraft gondola. Yeah. That's okay. also the one where, where Jaws goes smashing through a building just gets up out of the debris, brushes himself off, and walks away. Yeah. <laughs> then they go to fucking space. <laughs> We've gone over Moonraker before. Oh, I fucking but, hate Moonraker. So that that's ridiculous. That's really surprising to hear because... Daniel, and now, it's not movies, that bad. Okay. It's not that bad. All right. But it's stuff like, like Bond the, falls out of a three-story building onto a couch, goes, ugh, wipes okay. himself off, adjusts his tie, and walks away. And you're like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> because just before that, it's like this like, super exciting scene where he's assassinating people and buildings are blowing up and then the building falls down and it's throwing. And he's trying to run and get away and he's sliding and trying to grab for his life. And this is all happening in Mexico City during the Day of the Dead and there's people everywhere. And it's just so exciting. And then he, boom, oh, this couch saved me. Do, 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 do. I'm like, what or, the fuck? Or the, the Dave Batista uh, train fight scene. Isn't that a little overblown? Yeah. I've seen that what, what annoys me about this one is, like, they don't give you time for character building in this movie. Mm. Like, you're going to learn. He sits down with this girl, and you're going to learn something. You're going to learn why at the end of this movie she goes, I love you, James. I don't believe she loves him. I don't believe she even likes him. 
Yeah. <laughs> and, and because we don't ever give time. So they sit down to this dinner, and I think we're going to have like a Vesper Lynn, like James Bond like was in Casino Royale, where they just sat there and they talked to each other, matched wits, and you knew like, oh, these two are fucking. By the time this yeah. movie's over, these two are fucking. Oh, I thought you were talking about Dave Bautista. Yeah. Matching wits. I oh, he had more chemistry with Dave Bautista than Dave he did Batista the Wolfman Girl, actually. Mr. Hinks was Dave oh, Bautista's. Hinks. Which actually, he was pretty good in it. Pretty good henchman. Huh? But so they sit down to do this, and he's just like, you know, I'm Swarth Bond, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, they just start talking, and here comes Batista. He just smashing through stuff like, Batista, smash! And you know, he like, just comes through, the, and they the, start fighting. Like the Hulk and Avengers yes. after Black Widow. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's exactly what it was yeah. like. And they, like, start just destroying this train. <laughs> and then they let them, they let Bond stay on the train. And I'm like... No, if you yeah. trash the dining car, they're throwing your ass off the train. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're not keeping you. So I mean, and then there's a scene where Batista's tra- chasing Bond and an Aston Martin in Rome, and this is what I'm talking about. Super exciting, like. And then we got this thing where there's Q. He stole the DB10. The DB10 is the Aston Martin. It's his car. Okay. The Bond mobile, basically. Okay. So he's looking, and there's levers, and they're marked, and it's like. It's like rear guns or something. He flips it, and it, the guns come out the back, and it's like out of ammo. And he's like, shit. You know, and, he, and then there's one that says atmosphere. And he flips it, and light me, light rock plays. And it says 009, atmo- or 009 atmosphere. And he's like, ah. Oh, and he clicks it. That's the kind of shit that's happening in this movie. <laughs> and then, like, as they're coming along, and then this little guy in a Citroen, little lady bitty Citroen, pulls out in front of him. Mm-hmm. Dave Batista's coming at him. In like a Bugatti or Ferrari or something, but up behind him, this guy's driving like thirty miles an hour. So James Bond starts to push him in the Aston Martin, <laughs> and this little guy's going like, "What? Oh no! Oh no!" And he pushes him, and he pushes him into like a parking meter, and he like the guy hits his brakes, and he barely skids up to it, taps it, and guess what happens? All the money comes out. No, the airbag deploys. Oh. And then you're like, nah, 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 nah. So like, like uh, what do they call him, Mole Man off The Simpsons. Yeah. Oh, no. It, that's yeah. exactly <laughs> what it was like. And so I'm like, what the fuck? Where did this come from? That's and then weird. they have Christoph Waltz, and they have this whole thing. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm going to spoil something for you here. Wait, but it's I not Im- seen the movie. It's not important to the plot. Okay, well. Uh, okay, so it turns out that Christoph Waltz is Blofeld. Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Okay. But he is also the I, I son, we knew that. the son of Oberhausen, who is the guy who raised James Bond, thus <gasps> making Blofeld and Bond kind of like brothers. Oh. Of course, That's and he's perfect. pissed at Bond because Daddy always loved you better. Are you shitting me? I am not <laughs> shitting you. That is exactly Blofeld's <laughs> motivation for trying to kill James Bond. Oh. I'm like, what the? And it bears nothing in the movie. There was no reason to have that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who wrote this? Did Sam Mendes direct this one? He He's directed it. Few, right? There are four writers on this screenplay, oh. and it shows. It shows. Wow. And and how does that happen to James Bond? I like, don't they know. Do it, like the last three, mo- I mean, they had like a pretty solid. Quantum of like, Solace well, direction. was not good, but the writer strike, so they yeah. only got okay, a first draft so on that. So you see, you see the pattern. Casino Royale was good. Awesome. Quantum of Solace. Quantum eh. of Solace. Then you got Skyfall. Awesome. And now you've had Spectre. Eh. So the next Bond movie mm. is going to be great. Oh, it's like the Star Trek movie. Every other one, yeah. Yeah, every other one's going to be. And then, like, Christopher, Christoph Waltz, amazing, but completely underused. Yeah. I and then I, I want him to be this more shadowy guy, so they build him up. But, no, he gets his whole arc in this movie. Huh. I thought for sure they were going to kill him at the end. They didn't, yeah. but sorry, spoilers, they don't kill him. But I thought they were going to. James Bond is like, well, daddy didn't love you enough. I won't kill you. Mm. Yeah, what? That's how it works in reverse. No, and of course he's sitting there going, finish it, James. Finish it. Yeah. You know, like every fucking, it's, well, ah. Shit, man, you just spoiled Spectre. It's less than a week old. I'm sorry. Well, I'm so pissed about it. No. Oh. And the thing is, is somebody will come in and go, it wasn't that bad a movie. What's that guy talking about? But uh, as as a Bond, Bond fan, when I walked out of Skyfall, I had a grin from ear to ear. I was so happy. <laughs> and this one, I just walked out and went, Meh. This is like when I walked out of Amazing Spider-Man 2, and I'm like, and, and that's I'm what's supposed to happen. like it, but I don't. No. And that's what's going to happen with Star Wars. Hmm. That's you what happened have, with Phantom Menace. You're, you're going to have people who are diehard fans that's going to find shit wrong with it. 
and go, well, and then you know, well, it was a good Star Wars movie. Eh. So you're always going to have somebody that it's yeah. it's going right. well, to rub it, their well, own Well, and what it makes me think of is Arrow this season. I think, but you know, like I talked about this before, I feel like they're trying to add more lightness and yeah. co- humor and silliness, and it just feels weird in that universe. They haven't like figured out how to make it work. Yeah, they've they're trying to go more the the, the flash route. They're, yeah, they're right. Making yeah. it more super comic. They're making it less Nolan Ryan and more Chris Nolan. Right. Nolan Ryan's a pitcher. Oh yeah, <laughs> I keep could use a little that. more Nolan Ryan. <laughs> yeah, could, we need some fastballs in here. Yeah, more less Chris Nolan, more just at more comic book, and um, I'm enjoying it. I think it, I mean, like I said, we got. Um, did we talk about Legends of... Yeah, I started talking about the, the Hawkman, Hawk Girl. Yeah, that, coming they're going in. on. They're going to be on Flash, right? Yeah, yeah. Flash I think uh, this week, or I think this week, you see uh, Ray Palmer alive, and he's like an inch tall, right? You know, kind yeah, of they stuff. Kinda, where they they're revealed that the in the, on the next. Yeah. So that he, well, I mean, they revealed that he's alive. Which Holy we all shit! Knew. This thing just topped over seven hundred thousand while we were talking. Well, there well you we go. better keep going. Yeah. Yep. They got a ways to go. Well, they got 31 days, and they've made seven hundred thousand dollars already. <laughs> How long's it been up? Does it say? Mm, I don't know. It just says 31 days to go. Okay. But uh, see anything else going on? Oh, I I uh, attended a webinar last week, okay. and there's some cool stuff happening that is boring on the and technical on the back end of the website. Oh. But it's going to save me time. There you go. <laughs> boring. Boo. <laughs> Oh, I want um just because they've they've it's getting rained horribly. Jim and the hologram. News. Oh, yeah. I hate. I'm, still I'm, 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 yeah, I don't think so. Are we getting a sequel? But here, uh, guys, I hate to do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna spoil it for you. The ending. I just spoiled Spectre. Go ahead. Wait, uh, do they not kill the misfits? Well, the misfits aren't even in the movie. Oh. Mm-hmm. But what happens is at the end, I guess it gets to be more show wise with holograms and stuff and at the end the misfits do show up and kesha is the lead singer of the misfits kesha yes uh, like kesha with a dollar sign? yes and there was the people who were reviewing it said the movie was horrible but if the whole movie would have been like the last five minutes it would have been great <laughs> i don't know when they're gonna understand that that you the, so, taking a, buying a property and changing every single thing about it that made it unique. Well, it doesn't work. Actually, well, having a that that makes me, well. What were you going to say? Do you have something? To oh no, about no. That? Go ahead. Well, speaking of pop stars and things, uh, American Horror Story I feel continues to get better this season. Like each episode, and I've heard I've uh, opposing it. that people aren't all that thrilled with it this season. Yeah, I haven't watched it. I'm really but I've just seen it. A it's few... like my favorite. Of the last three seasons, yeah, this is my favorite season since the second. Huh, really? Uh, yeah, I, and what and was they, the second? Was that uh, Asylum? Asylum, mm-hmm. yeah. And then Coven, I would, thought was boring, and Freak Show is just. I tried to watch Coven. In. I couldn't get into it. Yeah, I thought a, a house full of freaky witch girls would be great, but um, it, not so it much. It had promise, but it just, uh, it just, yeah, they just didn't do no. anything interesting. Um, I, I was. Mean, I don't know. There were there were interesting things, but. I was reading on uh, where AMC stock had gone up, and part of what they uh, said it was because of, apparently AMC has made a deal with uh, the BBC to air Doctor Who. Oh, nice. And so you I don't watch it. I don't know if it's going to be the new Doctor Who. Cause I, I mean, I can't BBC rub it in your guys' America, face that I, mean, I have BBC America and could have watched it at any time and chose not to. Oh, I within twelve hours, and when you could see it, I can watch it. I'm going to spoil it every week. I'm going to call you guys up and go, oh, "Hey, guess good. what happened?" Well, <laughs> apparently, it's not any good this season because I haven't heard anything about it from anybody. It's like people it's... are just trying to act like it's not not well, there. Doctor well, Who's Doctor not Who. young and attractive anymore. Yeah, so. I mean, it's uh, really oh, it's not he... the heartthrob anymore. He's not the cute guy. I mean, I He's stopped watching best. when Amy He's Pond the left the show. Most so. Interesting Doctor Who that we've I, had. I like him. Uh, one of the best. Uh, lines this week uh, he was talking to someone on the phone uh, video chat and they're winking at him he goes you're winking at me she goes I'm not winking at you he goes you're winking you're sending me very you know uh, no, confusing signals here he goes I'm over 2,000 years old I could, I'm could. i old enough to be your messiah <laughs> oh like whoa <laughs> so there was some good there was some good one liners there's uh, 
uh, it's the Xylon attack or the Xylons are back. So I mean, Xylons. Uh, they're the big rubbery things. Oh. All I can think about is giant xylophones attacking them. Yeah. Okay. The uh, the three doctors. Mm-hmm. They're the the aliens that try to take over. They can oh. Oh. look like everybody else. Oh yeah, Xylons. yeah, yeah. yeah. So were those the guys that were in the the bunker? Yeah. Is that down? Um, not in the three doctors, but in that other special. Where no, they were from another dimension or something. I don't know. I don't yeah, remember. The bunker. I don't know. I've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah. It doesn't stick but, with me. It doesn't. It doesn't make its way into long term memory. Oh no. But, well, uh, we're over an hour. Okay. Okay. okay well, I want. I want to talk about guy. one more thing. Okay. What you got? Uh. Benedict Cumberbatch on the set of Doctor yes. Strange. Oh, yes, uh, we do have pictures of and um, Mardu, Mardu, uh, that other guy. Yep, as Brown Mordo. I'm not going to try and say his and, name. And the, the only way I can explain this or how I explained it to the wife, it's very. He's dressed in green too. Yeah, Baron Mordo. He, yeah, he's always that's in green. awesome. Well, I know that's what but I'm saying. It's awesome. Cumberbatch just has that Bruce Wayne traveling the world Batman Begins look. He does. You know, he just, you notice his hands are bandaged. Oh, there's, they better be. Yeah, right here. You can't use them. That's yeah. the whole reason he's traveling the well, world. Well, that's like, oh, they're actually going to do. He hurt his hands. He's in Nepal or wherever. So get his hands fixed. This is the yeah. story of Doctor Strange. See, See, Doctor Strange was a great neurosurgeon. And a dick. And a dick. Drank a lot like Tony Stark. And he got in a car accident. Was it a car accident? Yeah. Car accident. Fucked up his hands. Couldn't be a surgeon anymore. So he goes to the Far East to try to find somebody to heal his hands. And instead... Finds yeah. a guy who teaches him the mystical arts of magic, and he becomes Dr. Yes, Strange, and if, the Sorcerer you know, Supreme. He gets, like, horrible nerve damage in his hands, so he can't hold a scalpel, but it helps him do all the funky hand gestures mm -hmm. to do the, the, that you always see him do. So, now, can he use oh, the Lord. crimson bands of Sidorak? Sidorak because that, well, because in the, in the Fox movies, I know, but where does, that, mutant. where does that stand with Jagger, Juggernaut and Doctor Strange both having use of I don't it? know who used it first. That's the thing. Yeah. I don't come up with it. Um, See, the, the, was it the Sidorak stone or gem? Or yeah, the gem of Sidorak. It is the thing that gives Juggernaut his powers. But um, in oh, the comics, luckily, in the movie, he's a mutant. The, the one thing I was really worried about, um, apparently. You know, they did clear it up, and I'm so relieved that Deadpool will be uh, pansexual oh, yeah, in his I movie. Saw that. <laughs> okay. Well, it's basically Deadpool is like Bugs Bunny. You know, he'll just like, he'll kiss em Elmer Fudd. Yeah, and that's uh, the way it should. I mean, you know, he's just going to do, do crazy shit. So. Yeah, that's. And we do have a, a word where he dressed as Deadpool on Halloween, yeah. mm -hmm. and he puts together a group of kids. He's, like, going down the street getting all the kids dressed as X-Men. Oh, that's awesome. So that is up on our and side. he killed them. As he should. As he's Deadpool. All right, so we're over an hour. We're going to wrap right, this well, sucker let's, up. Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up like I didn't do my dick. Right. No, it snapped. That's, 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 it, the it broke. that's the story you've always told me. That's Man broke. is way too open about some shit. <laughs> hey, I don't know that I. Well, that when story, someone comes up right. and like, why were you irresponsible and had this job? I, blah, I blah, 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 blah. I'd be like, I didn't mean to. I was trying to be totally responsible. You blame Inspector Number Twelve at the Trojan Condom Company. <sighs> Electronically test. I, yeah, my ass. <laughs> Whatever. Trojan. Anyway, send all complaints oh. to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. We can also you can also go to our Facebook at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You can like us there. We've got like seven or eight likes this week. Yay. Yay. That's pretty good. That's okay. pretty good for, for the us. Page or for our no, page. for the actual page. Yeah. For, for the page page, page not just something we now, posted. If you did like us, you might want to go through and make sure that we're still liked because for some reason Oh yeah, I don't I, like I had to in, I had to invite Will and Matt here back to like our page because Which is weird because well, I'm still a site administrator on it. So yeah. it says I, I liked it. it. You oh, unliked it? Your dick. Yeah, what an asshole. Anyway, we're also at Twitter, at ScrambleCast. Um, we're also on Tumblr, ScrambleBrainsCast.tumblr.com. Uh, we're also on YouTube, which you can go to YouTube. That would be a good idea. We got yep. a new subscriber this week. Excellent! Ooh, I don't you? know if it... <laughs> Candy? It, yeah, I don't know who. I, oh. It actually... It wouldn't Welcome to your free bikini was. wax or larger dick. There you go. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Enjoy. If you're listening to this right now, look in your pants. It's magic. <laughs> uh, 
We're also at our website. Oh, we didn't do the. Oh, we'll do it. Wait, let's do all this, and then we'll do it, and then we'll say. Okay. Yeah, because that's the grand finale. Um, our okay. website is www.scramblebrainscast.com. You can find all the episodes there, or you can go to iTunes. That's a good place to go. You can go there, subscribe, give us a review. That's the best place to go. Um, you know, uh, we're also on Zoom. Are we still on Zoom? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Tune in. If Zoom still uh, just exists. pretty much any it, check all your podcast compilers and see if we're on there. And if we're not, let us know and we'll put it. We'll try to get in there. Okay, mm-hmm. real quick. You it's know. time for Marvel trivia. This is a Spider-Man centric card. Oh shit! You guys and, might as well just walk away. Uh, uh, yeah, this last one. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if you get this last one. You are the Spider-Man master. Okay, we'll okay. see. Okay. Oh, if I get First it. Off, what if I get it? What newspaper publisher labeled Spider-Man a menace? J. Jonah Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson. What kind of spider was irradi- irradiated and bit Peter Parker? Holy shit, I don't know what kind it is. Uh-oh, that's just the second one. A radioactive spider. What legendary vampire did Spider-Man once have to team up with? Morbius. No, oh, Dracula. 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 How high was Peter Parker's first superpower jump? Um... It was four stories, I think, but does it want feet? I don't know. It doesn't say. And the last one. Here's the big one. What are the names of Spidey's wife, Mary Jane's parents? Oh, shit. <laughs> Her dad's a drunk. Well, yes, that's um, a gimme. <laughs> shit. I, oh, I have these issues, too. Um, <laughs> oh, come what on. What is his name? 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 I keep wanting to say Ben, but I don't think that's right. Oh, wouldn't that be uh, ironic? All right. J. Jonah Jameson. Shit, I know this. When a you say... common house spider. I didn't oh, know that what? was a breed of spider. I thought they wanted, like, arachnids to avoid. What kind of spider? A house spider. I don't I, know. It, okay. That's nothing. That's... Dracula. Okay. 30 feet. See, I didn't know what they See, wanted. Because did he... Because I thought, he, yeah, he jumped on the side of a building yes. to get out of the way of a car. I don't know if he says in the issue, I've jumped 30 feet. Yeah, and Philip and Madeline. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Um, I just you... I just saw, I'm just like surfing. And, Do another um, one. Oh. That way it's like not so oh, spider And apparently century. Empire of the Dead is coming to a- AMC. Oh, wow. Sweet. That's a good fit with The Walking Dead. Yeah. That'd be that's... a good thing to show in the off season when Walking Dead's not there. Right. For people who don't know, that was uh, George mm-hmm. Romero did a... A series of comics uh, over the last year or so uh, called Empire of the Dead mm-hmm. fits into his universe a bit, and uh, yeah. And, uh, Actually, oh, we've got like a hundred cards, and I keep grabbing them. The same ones that we've already done. Well, okay, here. I'll, while you're doing that, I'm going to give an update on the Mystery Science Theater 3000 okay. Kickstarter. We started out, I think, 658 is what I said when we started. Yep. And that was halfway through this episode. Yeah. They are at seven hundred and nine thousand dollars. All right. Who is Captain America's worst enemy? The Red Skull. Bureaucracy. No. Red Skull. Oh, jeez. Where is Colossus from? Russia. And I won't say it's Siberia. Of Russia. Russia. I am from Russia. I Wait, pick up tractors. Maybe save from my that fake uh, country my where the fake no. Scarlet Witch and no and Vera. Yeah, no. Uh, why was the Scorpion created? To kill Spider-Man? Okay. What does Nightcrawler's teleportation smell like? Sulfur. Brimstone. Oh. Or sulfur. I'm sure I think that's the same thing, thing, actually. <laughs> Who is Shauna the She-Devil's father? I want Shauna the She-Devil? The uh, wife of Kazar. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that tells you anything. That's I know who K- I know who they I know who she is and I know who Kazar is, but I don't know who her father okay. is. The Red Skull, mm-hmm. Russia, to destroy Spider Man, Sulphur, and Gerald O'Hara. So that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, I don't know who don't Gerald think. O'Hara is. Now, to tell you real quick, it's not like they said Steve since Rogers. We're on the ass in, and I don't think we fin- offended enough people today. Mm-hmm. I saw a meme I thought was hilarious. My wife had to come over and said, "What's what do you find so funny?" And I recited it to her. And it went like this. I was going down on my grandmother the other night. Oh, this when is I, terrible. When I tasted horse semen. And I began to wonder, I wonder if that's how Grandma died. <laughs> I knew where this, I've read this one before. And my wife's like, why do you find that's that? That's so, so terrible. Uh, uh, but You know what? And you know what's sad? Is we'll get more hate mail over me ruining Spectre. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> anyway, goodbye, Internet. Until next it. time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. $711,000. $2,000 in a few moments.